Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna to talk about how to use tags and scenes to explore options. So we've done something like this before, but uh, I did wanna talk about like specifically to interior design and some ways you can use things. I also wanted to cover a couple things that I've seen recently uh, about how people think scenes and tags work and they don't work the way that I've seen people thinking they should work. So I wanted to cover that as well. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into this living room right here and look at a couple different ways we could arrange the furniture and we'll save both of them so we can flip back and forth with a button click. Let's check it out. All right, so here we have uh, just a little building vignette with some walls and inside we have some furniture. So I group, I mean, we could do this piece by piece by piece, but I just to make this easier, I grouped the furniture into groups. So over here we have against this wall is a piece of art, uh, a couch, and then a end table. Uh, on this side, we have a couch, some end tables, chairs, and a different piece of art. And then here uh, below the window, we have uh, a couple chairs and a little end table as well. Uh, there's a coffee table in the middle. We're just gonna leave that where it is. And we're gonna look at the how this all could work if maybe maybe we wanted to switch these. So put, you know, I, th I think the art goes together, the colorful one with the gray couch and the colorful couch with the black and white photo. I think that works. So let's just say, just as a whole, I'm gonna keep these sets of furniture together and just flip them. So let's figure out how, how we could do that. Um, what I don't wanna do is have to have like multiple models that I switch between or anything like that. I wanna keep this simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use tags and scenes to make it so I can real quickly and easily just check out one thing or, wait, wait, get out of here. All right, sorry about that. Sometimes loose geometry sneaks in and tries to ruin my day. So we're gonna see what that looks like. So first thing we'll do is we will save this setup. So this setup is the first one we're gonna look at. So I'm gonna go over here to tags and uh, I'm gonna start by looking at tags. So I have some uh, tags in here that are, are different, um, I don't know, different materials imported from 3D Warehouse, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna make a, a new tag, and this new tag is going to be option A, enter. And I'm gonna create a second one called option B. You guys probably already figured that one out. Um, and then I'm going to take this group, this group, and this group, and assign all three of those to option A. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna say put all these on option A, and there we go. Now, if I turn option A off, my furniture goes, oh, more loose geometry, trying to ruin my day. All right, so all the geometry goes away if I turn off option A. That's perfect, that's what I want. Now what I wanna do is I wanna create a new thing on option B where the furniture is different. So I'm gonna go back into option A. I'm going to select these three pieces. I'm going to copy them and paste them just out here off to the side, that sort of thing. So now I have a copy of both. Now, I'm gonna take them all right now before I do anything else and I'm gonna put them on option B. So now when option A goes away, my furniture for option B is still here. I'm gonna take this, here's what I'm gonna do for option B. We're gonna get rid of these tables here. We're gonna grab this stuff right here, we'll flip it around 180 degrees, and then we'll just plunk that right against the wall, like that, and then we'll drop it down so uh, it's on the ground, which is, you know, I don't wanna judge you for how you do things, but I like my couches on the ground. Okay, we'll pull it for a little more. That looks all right. Um, I Obviously the end tables, this stuff needs to be on the outside. So I'm gonna make a change. I'm gonna go into this group and I'm gonna grab these pieces, slide them over this direction. And then uh, we can actually flip them. I like that. Like that, and then we'll slide it back over. That looks good. And then this one right here, same thing. We'll come in here, we'll grab this this we'll take that right over here this way and I liked it the way it was too with the actually I kind of like that that's kind of whoa I don't know what's going on there actually uh I feel like that needs to be in there any I doesn't matter um <laughs> I could do cleanup but that's not what we're here for so now my option b is reversed so I can switch these by going tags boom tags boom 
but that's a pain in the butt. So I don't want to have to click stuff on and off. I just want a single button to say option A, option B, and I can flip back between them. And this is where scenes come into play. I'm going to close empty info. I'm going to expand scenes. And I want to see all of scenes. So first thing I'm going to do is, okay, so let's get option A set up. This is where I started, option A. So what I want to do is I want to make a scene that shows all these things are visible. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say, turn everything off except visible tags. Everything else gets turned off. And then I can go ahead and create a scene. All right, and I'm going to call this uh, furniture A. Okay, so now I have an option for furniture A. Now I'm going to swap, I'm going to turn A off, B on, and I'm going to create a new scene. And that new scene also has only visible tags on, and I'm going to call that also furniture B. So now what I can do is I can swap just with the click A and B, I can switch between the two sets. And the cool thing is because the only thing that these scenes are connected to is the visibility tag, means I can walk around and look at this model. So I'm look, I'm look at it right here, I'll look like this. Let's see, what does this look like? A, B, A, B. I'll flip around, look over here. How's this look from this side? How if I switch it? Ooh, yeah, I like that. Uh, and I can make my decision based on, I mean, while I'm orbiting around, I can swap between the two. So this is a pretty cool feature. If you're trying to show somebody options, uh, you can do it this way. So I said I was gonna mention things it doesn't do. So what scenes or tags don't do is they don't control location of geometry. So that's why the first thing I did after I set up option A was I copied it all out and put it on a different tag option B. So this sofa right here, this is in the model two times. This one's in the model two times. This picture in the model two times. It only controls the state of visibility. It does not control location. So some people try to make animations in SketchUp by grabbing something. All right, so I'm gonna have this here and then the second scene, I'm gonna have it over here, expecting it to move across the scene as they, or move across the screen as they change scenes. That's not how SketchUp works. What SketchUp does is it looks at all of these settings and says, okay, activate these settings that are saved for the scene. So for this one, by switching scenes, all we're doing is saying, check which tags are visible and set them to this. So that's why, so it's nice because the other thing that people think with scenes is that scenes is be probably because of the name, it always controls where the camera's at, but it does not have to. If camera location's not turning on, then like this, I can swap between it and this, the camera never has to move at all. So very powerful way to use the tools that are already there. I know some people use scenes for just animations. Some people use scenes just to set the camera. But remember, scenes can do so much more. All this stuff can be turned on and off. So I mean, you could have a scene that is just dedicated to controlling your section planes, flipping section planes on off. Maybe we'll do that next. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to see me create a section plane uh, scenes because that could be kind of cool too. But yeah, so check that out. If you are doing something like a layout or alternative ways to view models or rearrange stuff, quick and easy, super simple. Just uh, set up those two tags and then sign each tag on a visible tag only scene and you can flip right between them. So I'm hoping that that connects with someone. Um, I think it's a cool way to do it. I've used this on a lot of different projects as ways to like just flip through stuff. We've done this a little bit. We did, this is kind of a, a variant of the thing we did around the holidays last year where we did chasing lights, very similar. The thing to remember is that tags and scenes don't move stuff. They just turn it on and off. So. You can mimic animation or things moving by doing that, like a you know still frame animation kind of thing. But for the most part, if you're using animation or if you're using those scenes, you're just setting the state of what's visible right now. And just remember, the big thing, if there's anything to remember, it's that not everything has to be turned on. You can turn on just certain items and then that'll only activate those things in that scene. 
If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. More importantly than that, though, more importantly than anything, leave us a comment down below and let us know what you think. Is this useful? Did you get something out of this? Uh, do you have a different way you would do something like this? Love to hear about that too. I love to hear your workflows when you have them and they help me out a lot. Uh, most importantly though, do you have an idea for a video you think would you would like us to see or like us to make? We'll see it, you'll see it when we make it. Uh, let us know about that too. We like making these videos a lot. We like to make more when it's showing something you wanna see. Thank you.